Hello and welcome to uh, International Soccer Preview by Soccer Files Canada. Uh, this is Series 7 uh, of our uh, podcast and this is the African Cup 2022. Uh, sorry, African Cup 2021, but it's been played in 2022 and we are looking at the Ethiopian team. So I am Kevin and I'm flying solo tonight. Uh, my ho- co-hosts are uh, not available. Uh, and they'll only be doing some of the podcasts in this uh, busy series. We're pretty ambitiously trying to do all 24 teams. So I think some of the uh, uh, the teams that are not expected really to reach far into the tournament, uh, I'll be doing uh, solo. So uh, now for um, uh, listeners or for, for viewers uh, watching On YouTube, uh, I'll be keeping a simple graphic so you can actually see the names that are printed and we'll be highlighting them in certain colors uh, depending uh, on on whether they are starters or subs or somewhere in between. Uh, For those who are listening uh, on audio, we'll be repeating the names uh, several times just to help you familiarize yourself with them. So on that, let's begin, uh, and we will talk about the manager, uh, Wubetu Abate, and he is Ethiopian. He seems to have played professionally, but actually uh, little information is available, and he doesn't seem to have earned any international caps for the Ethiopian team. Uh, He's been the manager of the national team since 2020, and before that managed clubs uh, in Ethiopia. So we're going to uh, highlight him in green to indicate that he is a definite. And we will be uh, uh, kind of giving information about the players and then uh, predicting uh, how likely they are to uh, make the final squad. And we're also going to look at the final squad as we go uh, to check our predictions and see if these players did make it to the team. So classified as a definite, uh, sorry, I should say we're doing goalkeepers first. So classified as definite is uh, Tekla Mariam Shanko. Uh, he played seven of their games in 2021 and was on the bench for four others. So uh, we have him as a definite there. And uh, he's been with the team since uh, 2017 and has 13 caps. Uh, he's actually uh, 23 years old. So so he's been with the team since he was 19 and he plays for Ethiopian Coffee in Ethiopia. Now, the last time uh, Ethiopia reached a, an African Cup was in 2013. So most of these players uh, won't have um, won't have played in a tournament before. And I'll point out the ones that did. All right. Next is Fasil Gebremeyer. Uh, sorry, Gebremeyer. And uh, we've classified him as likely uh, because, including his first appearance on the bench in August 2021, he played five of their remaining games, remaining eight games there. Uh, He was on the bench for the first of those. Uh, However, he wasn't selected for the last two matches. So Fasil Gebremichael, we've classified as a likely candidate. Uh, Also likely is Jamal Tassou. Um, yeah, he played none of their 11 games in 2021. However, he was on the bench for 10, 10 games and not selected for just one. So uh, he is uh, 32 years old, um, Jamal Tasu is, and has been with the team since 2010 and has 34 caps. So he is actually one of the uh, few players who played in the 2013 African Cup. Uh, He started game one, actually, but lost his starting position uh, after receiving a red card. And um, he received a direct red card 35 minutes into game one, uh, having come out of his box for a very rash tackle. So uh, didn't uh, see any more action in that 2013 African Cup. And uh, he plays for Adama City in Ethiopia since 2021 and several other clubs uh, all in Ethiopia 
And uh, finally, we'll just mention the name of uh, Abel Mamo. Uh, he hasn't played for the team since November 2019. So if it turns out he's selected, uh, we'll go back and, and do some biographical information for him. Okay, so those are our candidates. Definite is Te uh, Tekla Mariam Shanko, likely is Fasil Gebremichael and Jamal Tasu, and seems to be off the squad is Abel Mamo. Let us uh, look now and see uh, how we did. Uh, okay, well, uh, Tekla Ma Mariam Shanko uh, is on the squad, as is Fasil Gebremichael and Jamal Tasu. And uh, Abel Mamo did not make it. And because teams have 28 players uh, allowable, uh, a lot of teams are bringing four goalkeepers. So I see a new name here. And um, for the time being, I can just uh, um, put the name in. And I'll come back uh, when I have some information about him. So we'll say there's a new player. And his name is Firu uh, Getahun. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but maybe Firu Getahun. Okay, uh, we will come back a little bit later uh, with some biographical information about him. Uh, moving on to central defenders, or, yeah, to the defense. Uh, we begin with Ashalu Tamin. Ashalu Tamin is coded as definite because he played 10 of their 11 games in 2021 and was not selected for one other. Uh, he is a veteran with 59 caps and three goals and is currently 30 years old. Uh, but he's only been with the team since 2015, so a bit of a late starter. Uh, he plays for Sa uh, Fasil Kenema in Ethiopia. And he also scored one of their five goals in 2022 World Cup qualifying. It was actually a late winning goal on a penalty uh, in injury time at home to Zimbabwe. So um, uh, even though he's a central defender, he scored a key goal there, Ashalu Tamin. Okay, moving on to our next player, uh, ya Yared Baye. And we've uh, coded... Yared Baye as likely. Uh, he had played nine of their 11 games in 2021, but he got moved down a notch in our rankings because he wasn't selected for the last two matches. So maybe the managers had a change of heart or uh, could be in, uh, injury there. Not really sure. He is, um, Yared Baye is uh, 26 years old and he has 25 caps and one goal. He's been with the team since 2013. And uh, like Ashalu Tamin above, uh, Yared Baye plays for Fasel Kamina, uh, Kanima in Ethiopia. Uh, also likely is Min, uh, Minyo Debebe. Uh, Minyo Minyo Debebe is considered likely also. Just let me put the name up for our YouTube viewers there. Uh, including his first cap in August, he had played four of their remaining eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for four others. So uh, it looks like he made uh, inroads into the team there and had scored two of their 10 goals in qualifying. Um, but he's a bit of a latecomer to the scene because uh, even though he's 26 years old, uh, that was his first cap in 2021. And he uh, and so those four caps are his only caps. He plays for uh, St. George in Ethiopia, one of the bigger clubs there. And uh, But, you know, he, he seems to have uh, uh, come and stuck. Uh, I, I, I'm saying he seems to have joined the squad and then stuck with the squad. That's what I was trying to spit out there. Uh, our last uh, player we'll just mention by name is uh, Atene Tesfe. Uh, Atene Tesfe, and he last appeared for the national team in two, November 2019. Uh, although he had been a regular to that point, he hasn't appeared since then. So again, uh, we'll go over it if, um, if, it, if it turns out that he is chosen. And now it is time uh, for us to uh, look and see. 
Uh, okay, so Ashalu Tamim is on the squad, and we're going to list him as probably as a starter. And uh, uh, Yared Be uh, Bea uh, played nine of their 11 games, so he will probably be a starter. You need more than one central defender after all. And uh, Mino De Bebe, um, we're going to put him as a maybe. Uh, he kind of... Um, Started a few games there, but um, not really sure um, if he is going to be a starter. All right, moving on to uh, left backs. And by the way, Antene Tesfaye uh, didn't make it. And oh, hang on, I'm seeing um, there is actually another player there, just like with goalies. So we had better put up um, a new player, uh, Menaf Awal. Menaf Awal uh, in a, a selected as a central defender. So we'll have to look into that uh, in a little more detail and give a little biographical information uh, about him. Uh, okay, moving on to left backs, we begin with Asrat Tonjo. Uh, I've seen it spelled Tunjo, so I'm not dead sure. Uh, Asrat Tunjo. Um, considered a definite because he played 10 of their 11 games in 2021 on the bench for the one other. So he is 25 years old and uh, has 10 caps, the 10 caps I just mentioned, because his first game uh, was in 2021. Uh, he plays for uh, Ethiopian Coffee uh, in Ethiopia and um, is considered a definite Asrat Tonjo there. Also considered definite is Ramadan Youssef. Uh, Ramadan Youssef also played 10 of their 11 games in 2021 and was not selected for the one other. Uh, much younger, uh, just 20 years old there. Uh, he has 19 caps uh, since 2019 with the team so really has uh, established himself on the team plays for Walkite City in Ethiopia and uh, yeah we'll have to talk a little bit about that um, obviously uh, both of them having played a lot of games uh, having played most of the games but probably not both as left back so maybe a roving position um, playing out of position there Okay, we move on to two other candidates, Ahmad Rashid. Uh, this one I've, I've seen spelled Rashid, and it's probably pronounced Rashid. Um, uh, actually returned after a two-year absence in November to play the last of their remaining two games in 2021 and was on the bench for the other. And uh, actually, because we have two left backs already, and because of that biography, I'm going to put him down to possible but unlikely. Um, no, I'll keep him at possible. Uh, but uh, given how many left backs there are, maybe unlikely. Uh, at 23 years old, he has uh, 14 caps, so uh, played a few games there in uh, uh, before 2019. And uh, he's been on the team actually since uh, 2016. That doesn't seem right. Uh, because he's 23 years old. Uh, maybe he joined when he was 18. Um, played for Ethiopian coffee in Ethiopia. It's just considered a possible here, though. Uh, as is Desta Johannes. Desta Johannes is also 23 years old. Uh, he returned after an almost three-year absence uh, in August to play three of their remaining eight games in 2021 and was on the bench for five others, including the last three. So he's been on the team since 2017 and has eight caps. Uh, I'm just a little confused here, I must say, because we have uh, four players registered as a left back. So, um, and they've all played a reasonable amount of games so um kind of would need to look at the lineup to see what's going on there but let's take a look and um yeah just to confuse me that much more all four of them are selected 
<laughs> so uh, I have uh, Tonyo, uh, sorry, Asrat Tonjo as a starter. I think uh, he's played enough games that it looks like he'll be a starter. Uh, Yusuf Ramadan, sorry, that's backwards. It's Ramadan Yusef uh, also as a starter. And uh, these guys have played a few uh, games too. So I'm going to hedge my bets and say they're a maybe Ahmad Rashad and Desta Johannes. They're all coded as left backs, but um, probably uh, aren't all playing as left backs. Uh, in fact, uh, they're probably at least one of them is uh, on the right side because we only have one candidate for right back and it's someone who's just a possible, uh, Suleiman Hamid. Uh, Suleiman Hamid has played four of their 11 games in 2021 and was on the bench for five of those and not selected for the last uh, two matches. So um, obviously he's not their starter. I'm going to quote him uh, as um, a likely substitute there. Could be a, a maybe. Uh, but anyway, he has been with the team since 2020 and has nine caps, is 24 years old and plays for St. George uh, in Ethiopia. Now, none of the players I've mentioned uh, since that goalkeeper at the beginning, Jamal Tasu, none of the players have uh, tournament experience. A lot of these guys are actually far too young for that. Okay, so, uh, oh, I was a bit premature there because I didn't say whether uh, Suleiman Hamid made the team but it turns out that he did make the team and um, I've coded him as a substitute sorry uh, if family members are listening and I've got it completely wrong and just insulted your whole family um, but I'm just kind of basing this on how many games they played uh, mostly the year before so Let's move on to the midfield. And um, we will start with uh, defensive midfielders here. So we have uh, Yihun Endeshu, or Yihun Endeshu, and we've coded him as possible uh, because he played five of their 11 games in 2021 and was on the bench for three uh, and not selected for the last two matches. Uh, however, because we have no uh, more likely candidates than him, I'm going to move him up to likely uh, there. And I'll tell you a little bit about him. 29 years old. Uh, he has 15 caps and has been on the team since 2015. So it doesn't look like he's a regular starter there with just 15 caps. And he plays for uh, Faso Kenema in Ethiopia. Uh, also likely is uh, Gatosh Panom, a defensive midfielder who played three of their 11 games in 2021 uh, and on the bench for three of those and not selected for five others. I think I said likely, but uh, um, uh, he was actually in the possible category we had him in. He's 27 years old and has been on the team since 2012. Uh, which would mean he got his start at 18 years old and has amassed 42 caps and seven goals, which is quite a lot for a defensive midfielder. Uh, he currently plays for St. George in Ethiopia, but um, unlike a lot of the, the Ethiopian players, he has played out of country. So he, uh, in 2020, was with Al Anwar in Saudi Arabia. And uh, before that, he was with El Hudud, uh, El Hodud in Egypt. So, um, and actually, even with uh, Anti uh, Anti Makachkala in Russia in 2017, uh, butchering pronunciations a bit there. Uh, he scored goals actually in the 2017 African Cup qualifying and in World Cup 2018. Uh, qualifying so pretty uh, prolific for a defensive midfielder but only rated as a likely uh, as a possible candidate here uh, let's do central midfielders before we uh, check and see uh, if our predictions are correct there and uh, we move on to a definite um, candidate here um, <clears throat> 
Oh, I'm all over the place in my graphics. Just give me a sec to uh, catch up. Um, okay. Uh, a definite candidate in Mesut Mohamed. Uh, Mesut Mohamed played nine of their 11 games in 2021. Uh, was on the bench for the last of those and not selected for one other. Uh, he did score a goal in qualifying. Um, he's uh, 31 years old now and uh, has been with the team since 2008. Uh, but he only has 23 caps uh, in that time. So um, that's not an awful lot. Nevertheless, in recent times, he seems to be... Um, a firm fixture on the team. He wasn't, though, in the African Cup 2013 because uh, even though he was, he had played for the Ethiopian team, he was not selected for that tournament. Um, uh, okay, so he is considered a definite for this tournament, though, and we move on to uh, possible two possible candidates in Haida Sharifer. And we'll talk about Habtamu uh, Tekeste, uh, starting with Heda Sharifa. He played the last two of their 11 games in 2021 and was on the bench for the first three of those, but wasn't selected for the six in the middle. So that leaves us thinking he's uh, uh, a possibility. Uh, been with the team since 2019 and has 11 caps um, and was... Uh, Born in 1994, so 27 years old. Haider Sharifa, a possibility. Uh, and Habtamu Tekeste uh, played two, uh, the first two of their 11 games in 2021 and was on the bench for the last uh, two of those, not selected for six others. Uh, just 23 years old there. He's been with the team since 2020 and has had five caps. And uh, he's with Fasil Kanama in Ethiopia too. I think I didn't mention Haida Sharifa's club. Uh, it's St. George in Ethiopia. Okay, so those uh, two are on the possible uh, level. And then we have one name on the possible but unlikely, uh, Tefes, Tefes A. Solomon. Uh, played three of their 11 games in 2021 and was on the bench uh, on the bench for one game and not selected for seven others, including the last four. Um, so, again, we won't give too much detail about him unless he uh, turns out to be on the squad. And here we go with the uh, answers, the big reveal. Let us see. Uh, okay, Yihun Endashu, the defensive midfielder, has made the squad. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, going back, he only played five of their 11 games, so I'm going to put him uh, as a maybe, uh, as a starter in terms of being a starter. And uh, Gatosh Panom also made the squad. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to put him as a substitute because he only played three of their 11 games there. Uh, Mesut Mohamed we had as a definite and he made the team so um, one imagines he'll be a starter having started most of the games in 2021 and um, a bit surprisingly neither of those two possibilities Haydar Sharifa or Habtamu Tekeste made the squad and nor did the uh, unlikely Tefes, Tefese Solomon so um there we go. Actually, that probably puts uh, Gatosh Panom uh, up to um, a maybe starter. All right, let's move over to the left midfield. And actually, we just have one player coded uh, as a left midfielder, and he seems to be off the squad. So we'll just mention him by name, and if he actually comes into play, we'll give more details, but Benyam Demti. Benyam Demti uh, last appeared for the national team in September 2019. So um, doesn't look like he's going to be there. And we don't have any players coded as right midfielders, although we do have wingers on both sides.
All right. Uh, so let's look at the left wingers. Um, we have two possible candidates. Uh, first one is uh, Shurnet Gugesa. Shurnet Gugesa, uh, including his first cap in August 2021, had played two of their remaining eight games and was on the bench for four of those, but not selected for the last two matches. So uh, those two caps are his only uh, two, of course, since we said he started in 2021, and he plays for St. George in Ethiopia. Uh, Solomon uh, Firu Solomon is the other candidate. Uh, Firu Solomon played only in local tournaments and friendlies until um, on returning from a four-year absence in November, uh, played both of the last two games in 2021. So uh, kind of came out of the cold to play the last two games. Uh, 29 years old, he has been on the team since 2015, but only has nine caps, and he plays for Sidama Coffee in Ethiopia. And uh, we will do uh, right-wingers uh, also before we take a look at uh, who made the squad. And uh, Emmanuel Gebremichael, we consider likely uh, Emmanuel Gebra Michael on the right wing had played nine of their 11 games in 2021, but he wasn't selected for the last two matches. So that moved him down a notch in our likelihood scale. Uh, 22 years old, but has been on the team since 2017 and has 25 caps and four goals. So um, it's only those uh, missing those last two matches uh that detracts from from him being a definite candidate but uh, definitely um uh, i think he'll be on the team and then we have uh gadisa mebrate uh, as a possible but unlikely gadisa mebrate uh had only played the first of their 11 games in 2021 and was on the bench for the next two but not selected for the last eight um and finally Adiski Day, uh, as as a seems to be off the team candidate because he last appeared for the team in November 2019. So we'll give a little detail if either of those guys show up. But um, let us look at uh, who has made it. So uh, our left midfielder, uh, Benyam Demti, uh, we considered off the team and, and he is. Uh, a bit of a surprise with uh, Churnet Bugessa. Maybe not, because we had him listed as just possible. He did not make the team. However, uh, Firu Solomon uh, did make the team. And uh, I'm going to put him as a substitute, I think, because uh, he just came in at the very end there. Uh, but who knows? Uh, we could be, I could be dead wrong. Um Emmanuel Gebra Michael um, did make the team, and it looks like he'd be a starter. Uh, but neither of the others, Gadisa Mebrate or Adiski Day, uh, made it to the final squad. All right, we're going to move on to the attacking part of the field and begin with attacking midfielders. So Shimelas Bekele is our first candidate. We have him as a definite. Uh, he has a long history with the team. Um, we call him definite because he played 10 of their 11 games in 2021, not selected for the one other. Uh, he also scored two of their 10 goals in qualifying, uh, including a goal at home in a 2-1 home win over Ivory Coast. And he was on the team in, uh, no, I'll give the bio information. So he's been on the team since 2010, is 32 years old and is one of the most experienced Ethiopian players with 68 caps and 10 goals. And uh, he's also one of the few Ethiopians who uh, play outside of the country. So he's with uh, Mizar al Makasa in Egypt since 2019 and has played uh, for other teams in Egypt and in Sudan and, and Libya. Uh, so... Uh, he started games one and three in 2013, but he subbed out fairly early in each of those. 
uh, subbed out of 39 in game one and 55 in game two. Um, and I have a note that he, he lined up as a midfielder and as a forward. So maybe a bit of a roving uh, player. He didn't score any goals in that tournament, though, but has scored goals in qualifying uh, tournaments uh, up to this time. Uh, our next candidate here is Emmanuel Johannes. Uh, Emmanuel Johannes is considered likely. He played the last five of their 11 games in 2021, was on the bench for two of those, uh, and the four matches that he wasn't selected for were the first four matches. So he's been with them uh, recently. Uh, only 22 years old, but he's been, sorry, 20. Yeah, 22 years old. He's been on the team since 2018 and has 16 caps and plays for Ethiopian Coffee. Uh, uh, we have several uh, possible candidates here. Uh, one of them is Surafel Dagnachu. Uh, Surafel Dagnachu had played six of their 11 games in 2021, was on the bench for one of those, and not selected for four others, including the last two. So he also scored in that 2-1 win over Ivory Coast in qualifying. And he's 24 years old, has been with the team since 2019, and has uh, 14 caps and two goals. So he is with uh, Fasil Kenema in Ethiopia. And we consider Surafel Dagnachu as a possible candidate. Uh, also possible is Shimeket Gugesa. Shimeket Gugesa had played five of their 11 games in 2021, was on the bench for two of those, and also not selected for the uh, last four matches. I shouldn't say also, because Dagnachu was just the last two matches. Uh, not selected for the last four matches is uh, Shimeket Gugesa. He is 26 years old and has been with the team since 2013. So another player who started at 18 years of age uh, and has 17 caps in his eight years with the team. Uh, and yet another player who plays for Faso Kanama in Ethiopia. So Shimeket Gugesa, a possible candidate. And our last possible uh, candidate is uh, Bezeba Maleo. Uh, Bezeba Maleo uh, uh, got his first cap in August uh, of 2021 and then played four of their remaining eight games. Um, he's been on the team since uh, I have 2011, but no, no, 2021, of course. Uh, those were his first. Uh, uh, first game. So four caps, uh, all of them just last year, even though he's 26 years old. So a bit of a late arrival to the team. And uh, wouldn't you know, he also plays for Fasil Kenema. All right, we already have six attacking midfielders uh, on our plate. And we have two other names, Fitzam Alemu. Uh, Fitzam Alemu, we've, we've classified as possible but unlikely. He played three of their games in 2021, was on the bench for two of those, uh, for two others, and not selected for the last six. Uh, and Kenyan uh, Markne, Kenyan Markne seems to be off the squad having last appeared in November 2020. Okay, so that is the list of attacking midfielders. And we will go and see uh, who made it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, looks like all of them did. So we'll just kind of go back over the names here. Shumelis uh, Bekele is no surprise and is, is bound to be a starter. Uh, Emmanuel Johannes. Um, he played the last five of their 11 games. So uh, I'm going to put him, no, I'm going to put him as a maybe because I'm a conservative guy. Uh, Surafel, oops. Uh, Surafel Dagnachu um, played six of their 11 games. He also made it to the squad. Uh, Shimaket Gugesa. I'm going to put all of these guys as maybes because um, they have a similar number of caps. And uh, Bezabar Maleo 
Uh, obviously not all playing as central attacking midfielders, but um, probably moving around the field. And uh, surprisingly, even uh, Fitzam Alemu uh, made the squad. I imagine he'd be a substitute. Uh, as we said, he played the first of their 11, first three of their 11 games in 2021, and then was kind of off the squad, but uh, called back here. Uh, so I'll just tell you, he is uh, 26 years old, been with the team since 2019, and has four caps. So that's other another suggestion that he's more at the substitute level. Uh, Kane and Martinet, the last name we mentioned, did not make the squad. All right, uh, we look at secondary strikers, and they have two players designated uh, as such. And the first is uh, Abu Bakr Nasir. Uh, um, and sometimes that name is given as Nesru. Uh, Nesru. Um, Abu Bakr Nasir has played 10 of their 11 games in 2021 was on the bench for the other. He scored one of their 10 goals in qualifying and uh, just 21 years old, but has been on the team since 2019 and already has 15 caps and four goals. Uh, he plays uh, in Ethiopia for Ethiopian Coffee and uh, he looks like a definite candidate. Uh, the other one is Mesfin Tefese. Uh, Mesfin Tefese is uh, considered a possible candidate. He returned from an almost two-year absence in October 2021 to play two of their four remaining games and then was on the bench for two others. So uh, they seemed happy enough with him for the last four games there. Uh, he is 20 years old, so young, some of these players. Uh, but he's been on the team since 2019 with nine caps and two goals. So uh, we can expect a lot of youth from Ethiopia, perhaps um, uh, looking better, you know, in a few years down the road when they gain experience like this, uh, like this cup. Uh, Ethiopia could be uh, looking good in a few years. Um, we're going to move on to to uh, outline the forwards before we see if those two made it to the squad. And uh, the first is probably their most well-known player, Gitana Kabede. Uh, Gitana Kabede played nine of their 11 games in 2021. He wasn't selected for two. Uh, he scored... Um, Two, uh, uh, three of their 10 goals in qualifying, uh, actually one in each of the last three games. Uh, he also scored about uh, against Ivory Coast, but it was in, in a loss. Uh, they lost that, that leg to them. Uh, but he was the top scorer for the team, as he has been almost throughout his career. There's no qualifying tournament that he hasn't scored and uh scored quite a few goals in so in 2017 he scored six of their 11 goals in qualifying including two in a home draw with algeria and two in an away win in lesotho and he was not only the top scorer for his team but the second highest uh, scorer in african qualifying uh, he actually was around uh, for the 2013 African Cup. He started games one and three, but again, he too subbed out quite early, 64 in game one and 55 in game two. And um, uh, sorry, that should be game three. I'm, I'm wondering, oh no, he subbed into game two at 55, maybe played all of game three there. Uh, but a really big name for them. Uh, he he plays for Wokai City in Ethiopia now, and was with St. George for three years before that. But he has played outside the country. Uh, he played for um, Bidvest Vitz in, in South Africa and also for the University of Pretoria in South Africa. So uh, it seemed like he preferred to play in Ethiopia, so he came home in 2016. All right, well, he is going to definitely be a candidate if he is uh, healthy. And uh, uh, we have a likely candidate in Abel Yalou. Abel Yalou had returned after an almost three-year absence in August to play seven of their eight remaining games. 
So I was on the bench for the other. So I would almost say uh, a definite there, but uh, he does have Gitana Kabede in front of him. He is 25 years old and has been with the team since 2017. 13 caps and three goals in that time. He plays for St. George in Ethiopia. Uh, as a possibility, we have Dawa Hotesa. Uh, Dawa Hotesa had uh, also returned after a three-year absence uh, in November uh, to play both of their remaining games in 2021. So um, just kind of made it back uh, at the end there. We'll see if he made the team. Uh, he is uh, 25 years old and uh, has been with the team since 2014. But in that seven years, just has 16 caps and one goal. So seems more kind of a, a, a sometimes starter, but a bench player there. Uh, we have one possible but unlikely in Mujib Kasim. Mujib Kasim uh, played the first of their 11 games in 2021, was on the bench for the next two, and then not selected for the last eight. So we'll do some bio information on him if he is selected, but uh, looks like he has pretty stiff competition uh, uh, in front of him. Finally, one player who uh, was in the 2013 African Cup, even though he was just a, uh, a sub, uh, appeared in one game, but he last appeared for the team in September 2019. So um, it may be a veteran retired uh, there. Oh, sorry, I haven't even said his name. Umed Ukri. Uh, so we'll, we'll come back and give some more information uh, depending on whether he made it or not. Okay, let's go back up the page a little bit so and see if either of these secondary strikers made it to the team. Abu Bakr Nasir. Uh, Abu Bakr Nasir did make it to the team. Uh, oh, and he had been considered a definite, so no surprise there. And um, we'll kind of code him as a starter, I think. Uh, Mesfin Tafese uh, also made it to the squad. Um... I'm going to code him as a substitute. Uh, we'll never be, we can never be sure. So um, I hope uh, I don't get angry letters about some of these things, but we're just uh, kind of taking a guess at, at it. Uh, no surprise that Katana Kabede is uh, on the squad and he will definitely be a starter. Uh, Abel Yalu uh, surprisingly did not make it. Uh, even though he played seven of their remaining eight games in 2021, uh, did not make it to the final squad. So a bit of a, a surprise there. Uh, Dawa Hotessa uh, did make it. Um, I'm going to have him as a sub because he just appeared at the end there. And Mujib Kasim, we didn't expect to make the squad, uh, but he did. And uh, uh, he would definitely uh, be on the bench, I think. Finally, Umed Ukri. Uh, did not make the squad. So that uh, veteran, despite being just 31 years old and uh, still active playing for Hadia Hassan in Ethiopia, uh, did not make the squad here. Uh, perhaps because of the the uh, a large number of uh, attacking players they have in the attacking midfield, secondary striker and forward role. Okay, well, we're going to go back and just uh, get a bit of information on these two players uh, that uh, showed up unexpectedly. They were not in our soccer files, but they were on the final roster. So uh, it turns out that uh, Menaf Awal, uh, am I doing the right one? No, I'll do the goalkeeper first. Uh, Firu Getahun, uh, or Firu Getahun. Uh, is uh, not young, 29 years old, but has no caps for the team so far. Uh, he appeared on the bench first in August 2021 and has been on the bench for uh, three of their remaining eight games, including the last two. So maybe that's why he didn't show up um, on my radar. 
but uh, he'd be a bench player here, I would imagine, with three other goalkeepers in front of him. And he plays for Dire Dawa in Ethiopia. Okay, and then uh, Menaf uh, Awol is a central defender here. And uh, let's see. Uh, just 18 years old, uh, born in 2003, but has no caps for the team either. Again, that's why he wouldn't have made my radar. Uh, first appeared on the bench in August uh, 2021 and actually had been on the bench for all seven of their remaining games prior to the tournament. So maybe he should have made my radar, but uh, anyway, did not. Okay, so we're going to go back uh, over the team here in review, and we'll just kind of look at the likely starters. So we have uh, manager Wubetu Abate. Of course, that won't be changed uh, before the tournament unless something drastic happens. Uh, goalkeeper, the starter will be uh, Teklamariam Shanko, it looks like, uh, and they have three other keepers available to them. Uh, central defenders, uh, Ashalu Tamim, and Yared Baye look uh, like they're going to be the starters. Uh, on the left, uh, we have a lot of players um, coded as left back. Ashrat Tonjo and Ramadan Youssef look like the starters. But uh, if they do both start, it'll probably be um, one of them will be playing out of position uh, or uh, on the right. So uh, the the... The player on the right, Suleiman Hamid, looks more like a substitute. So one of the other players we've talked about will probably be over on the right. Uh, for defensive midfielders, uh, we consider Yehun Endeshu a likely starter. Uh, but definitely uh, Mesut Mohamed will definitely be in the central midfield. And uh, um we don't seem to have a lot of uh, uh, central midfielders there, so maybe some of those uh, those uh, left backs uh, fill in in the central midfield. Uh, for left wingers, um, we don't have a, a, a definite candidate there. I don't have someone who looks like a starter. Uh, so again, maybe one of those left backs moves up the field. Uh, to left winger. On the right wing, though, we have Emmanuel Gebra Michael, who looks like a definite starter there. And on the forward line, uh, definitely attacking midfielder Shimelis Bekale will be there. And then there's a whole bunch of players who look like they could be starters, uh, including Emmanuel Johannes, Surafal Dagnetu, Shimeket Gugesa, and Bezeba Maleo. Uh, all all look kind of um, possible starters rather than kind of sure bets. Uh, however, Abu Bakr Nasir as a secondary striker looks like a, a sure bet as a starter. And finally, I would bet my very nose on uh, Gatane Gabede starting as the uh, forward. And there are a couple of other players who probably come on as substitutes, but none of them look like they're going to challenge Kabede for that uh, top role. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of our player podcast uh, on Ethiopia. I forgot to do the graphics at the uh, end, the flag. Sorry about that. Uh, but I did include uh, information about our podcast. So uh, we have a, a website at soccerfiles.captivate.fm. Uh, Soccer Files is with a PH. Uh, and uh, you can also um, communicate with us at soccerfiles at gmail.com. And I've heard also if you type soccer files, uh, that's plural, into Google Soccer Files, uh, we come up. Uh, somewhere near the top of the list. We'll have to work on that and get to the top of the list. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. This is the International Preview by Soccer Files uh, Canada, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.